This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! <laughs> Keiichi, where have you been? Um, not Hooters. <laughs> let the animation f close first. Okay, now can I... There we go, now we can go back to remake art style. Lazing around and watching television after dinner was a part of my daily routine. It might seem like a waste at first glance, but you could say it was an important time when I was able to accrue knowledge from everything from politics to economics to various trivia. After dinner was valuable time well spent while the brain was at its most supplied with nutrients. Today I tested my knowledge of trivia by watching my weekly quiz show. Oh, he likes Jeopardy too! Sitting in front of the television, I was able to get a lot of the answers right. But if I were actually up on stage, I'd probably fail miserably. That's how it always is. You go, you, co you go on, you like are watching Jeopardy. You're like, what idiots? I know all of these. And then you actually go on Jeopardy. You're like, um, I don't know how to green buzzer. Duh, Alex is in Arizona. <laughs> it's like, they already asked if it was Arizona, idiot. Oh. <laughs> Which one? I mean. It was a little late for her to be calling. I had a bad feeling about this. But even though I said that happily, I had a hunch it was something to do with club activities. She was probably going to inform me about what we were doing tomorrow. This was Mion we were talking about. She might even go so far as to say we're doing club activities right now, so hurry up and come over. By the way, it was 8pm. Oh no, it's time for bed. Yo! It was Mion, but it was a very un Mion like way of talking. Huh? Could it be? How long are we gonna play up with this farce? For Mion, this would have been an ill fittingly polite way of talking. <laughs> Shion's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you that night, but I was just wondering if you'd like to hang out sometime. That would be fun. Mion's just like, hey, jerk bot, we're doing this in the park. Get over here now or we're going to TP your house. <laughs> That's kind of the difference between the two. <laughs> Even though they were both the same person. With a dry smile, I enjoyed that mysterious feeling. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Who doesn't? Especially when other people make them for me. There was no way I hated them. I'm an unabashed glutton. <laughs> now that's where I am. I'm ju I'm gonna be a judge. Looks like they have a new dessert menu every season. So they were hiring taste testers for potential desserts. Are you gonna pull some streams? じゃん。じゃん。This is like paradise. <laughs> they say to beware of honey pots, but this is sweeter than any pot of honey. Oh, you can eat free dessert? No way! He's not perving over the costumes anymore. We've done it. We fixed him. Are we going to Hooters every day now? Is this just our life? <laughs> oh, you could eat? She owns the nicest. This was such a delectable opportunity, it was almost scary. This was really Shion, right? It wasn't Mion posing as Shion in order to bait me into a trap, was it? They're the same person! <laughs> what am I saying? They're the same person. Well, that is true. There's always a catch. Always. <laughs> Snort. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call me George Washington. <laughs> Shion laughed with a voice that sounded a lot like how Mion would laugh. Yeah, I wonder why. 
明日はちょっとバイトしたらすぐに終わりなんですもしもご迷惑じゃなかったらその後ちょっとご一緒してもらってもいいかな Yes、えー、明日のバイトはすぐ終わっちゃうんだ I, I already like the Shion side of Mion I, I can see Proxima why you、uh, like her はいだからケイちゃんがデザート食べながらのんびりしてるうちに終わっちゃうんです Yeah yeah、まあ俺も特に用事はないし、多少付き合うくらいなら構わないよ。別にどこかに行くわけでもないです。夕涼みしながらお散歩でもできたらなって思ってるだけですから。There was no reason for me to refuse. Out of courtesy, I might as well take her up on her offer. そういえば、ケイちゃんと私って、なんだか。Yeah, apparently this is only like three days and not like a full week like I thought it was. 言われてみればそうだな。でも、オーケーしてもらえたおかげで。また明日も会える後日。オーケーだおきしよう。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、<laughs> Show us what my brain's like! It wasn't a video phone, but I could tell, she could tell I was beat red. <laughs> Shion finished with what she called the say and ended the conversation without any chit chat. When I returned to the living room after hanging up the phone, the TV was already off and my mom was sleeping on the rocking chair. Why did Shion invite us, though? Actually, wait. I was gonna say surely she has other friends, but not really. Hinamizan was pretty small. So actually, you know, it does make sense why she would invite us. Not feeling like turning the TV back on, I went back upstairs and returned to my room. She brought me a bento and saved me when I got involved with those thugs. She was supposed to be a different person, so I could thank Mion at school. Come to think of it, she'd probably just say she'll pass it on to her sister. I have to thank Shion directly. Tomorrow I'll have to repay her somehow. That's a nice thing to do, KG. Yeah. She's done so much for us. She deserves to have something nice done for her. New tips unlocked! Details of the delinquent free! Oh! Are they gonna be more plot important? Mob mentality! Get rescued! <laughs> These are great achievements. Oh, is this going to be at the police station? Like, details on what, who they were? Yep. The free people rubbed their arms painfully. Kumage Kone and the others must be, have been squeezing them pretty tightly. <laughs> oh, you said that you go kai shinai de grasai yo. Betsuni tai ho stagi ja nain dagara. Kumaja, lezo kokara, tsumetai no dashtake de grasai. Oh, you said that you are awa no deru mungicha to denai mungicha dochina i desu. They plunked down onto the reception sofa, and despite not yelling anymore, they still had dangerous expressions. Mmm, what I'd give to be young again. No man, I know what I see. Got any non jamas, y'all. Stray, stay, pshit. Kim, you need a movie, and I cheap on what she does. Is that a fact? As he downed the beer with glee, the free people exchanged glances, then finally reached out for their cans. They hadn't stopped being cautious. It was more like they didn't see a reason to refuse. They each opened their cans and began to drink the contents. I thought the tip was going to end there. <laughs> they looked at each other again, suspicious of whether they should tell him. He's doing the good cop routine. Osaka 
あのままいたらお兄さん方だってやばかったでしょう They seem to recall the thrilling event from earlier. While they could understand getting surrounded by students or a gang or something along those lines, they would never have been surrounded by locals both young and old, both men and women before. It was easy to imagine how scared they must have been. ここいらの人間なら、どんな間違いがあっても、ひなみざの人間には手出ししないですよ。あそこの連中は特殊なんです。子供の喧嘩に親は出てくるな、なんてもんじゃない。一人をいじめたら、それこそ村中が総取りやってきますよ。いや、ほんと、脅しでもなんでもなく。They couldn't argue against that. They themselves have been surrounded. They'd seen it with their own eyes, there was no doubt about it. ここいらじゃねえ。ひなみざの人間ににらまれたら、あっさり鬼隠しにやって消えちまうんです。Oh, we're getting back to this. もう、跡形もなく、こつぜんと。お兄さん方、行方不明になったら誰か捜索願いを出してくれるご家族はいますいないならまずいな。蒸発扱いですよ。ふっふっふっふっ。Even then, we got there soon enough that nothing happened. If we had been late,、uh, things could have taken a turn for the worse. If they'd been forced into an alleyway, these young men wouldn't be sitting on a couch right now. They might be lying on an autopsy table. <laughs> well, probably not. Anyway, perhaps they'd be a little more cooperative if we'd found them as corpses. Bike. そりゃまずいな。さっきのとこにまだ止めっぱなしなんでしょう。あんたらのこのことバイクを取りに戻ったら、今度こそ袋叩きに会いますよ。な、なんだよそれ。Calm down. Calm down. Why are young people these days so quick to with the shouting? あんたらももう面倒ごとはごめんでしょう。バイクのナンバー教えてください。ここまで持ってきてあげますから。ごまんじゃ、交通課対策にゲート車を借りてきてください。えっせ、べ、別にいいよ。自分たちで取りに行くからいいって。あんたら本気で囲まれたいんですか。今度は警察、間に合わないかもしれませんよ。大丈夫だっつったんだろ。かこみちょうとおい、お兄さん方。あんたら今泡の出る麦茶飲んだろうエンジンかけてみろその場で飲酒取るぞこらき、きしたね警察が税金使って兄さん方のバイクを運びして死んぜよって言ってんだよごちゃごちゃ言わねえで<笑> OK、Now we're seeing the bad cop There we go The three of them were hesitant to tell him the numbers They were mumbling something along the lines of not remembering them since they just bought the bikes Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> Kuma chan, get to shiny dog, push the bike, mut tik tagate. Go to yaka yatsu, tell lamp no mini gawa ga wareta yatsu. Ato sheet ni gamte hatte atta shiro yatsu. Sore daro, new san tachi no bike. They didn't answer. Those must be the right ones. Oi sa, get to shiny kimash tande, it tik mas. Hi, hi, yoro shiko nai shimas. Ato Kuma chan. ちょっとちょっと。なんすかナンバー紹介しといてください。間違ったバイクを持ってきちゃうと悪いから。The three people's faces changed color. They made themselves very easy to understand. バイク戻ってくるまでのんびりしてましょうよ。ビールもっとありますよ。乾き物だってありますし。テレビ見ますろくなのやってませんけどね。いいよ。俺たちもう行くから。Did you guys steal those bikes? Suddenly, there were five or six huge officers surrounding them. Their clearly overpowering stares nailed them to the sofa. Going on a trip by stealing motorcycles, huh? Students these days have too much time on their hands. Oh, they even stole the bikes. Why'd they get so upset about us kicking them then? Kids these days. All right. Well, we got time for another skit. Let's go and eat all you can eat desserts at the Hooters.
This will be great! I knew we wouldn't be doing any club activities after school today before Mion even said anything. I'd been invited over by Shion. For an all-you-can-eat dessert! <laughs> I made the point of leaving half my lunch uneaten. My expectations would only be rivaled by my hunger. Free all-you-can-eat dessert! What's not to like about that? Oh, Keiji, you're gonna feel awful afterwards. I guess it was obvious. Rena had questioned me with a happy look. That's right. Why don't I invite Rena for dessert as well? Because she has to pay for hers. No, if I recall correctly, Shion said something about having a ticket. At worst, the restaurant might be admission by ticket only today. If that was the case, then having Rena be turned away at the door would result in the worst feeling ever. It's, it's delicious. Kayut? <laughs> hmm, I wonder what Rena would think of the uniforms that Angel wore. She'd be. Keiichi, these are slutty uniforms, slap. They'd definitely be a critical hit. <laughs> As if you didn't know. <laughs> Dang, Keiichi's got, Keiichi's got some close friends for not being here for even two months. So, some good psychopathic friends. Oh, the dessert fiesta, or festa. <laughs> festa of the Lion King. It's apparently the only restaurant that exists! あ、行っても無駄だよ。9時当選者以外は入店できない貸し切りでだから。Mayon explained once again what Shion explained to me last night. I wonder how many raffle tickets they What? Apparent, but Angel Mort is supposed to be a restaurant that's like people come from long away. Like, what if what if you took a tri like trip to Japan and just entered the raffle, went back home to like I don't know South Africa, and then it's like, hey, congrats, you got invited to the Angel Mort all you can eat restaurant. They're like, I'm in Africa, I can't really go back. <laughs> that, it's not like I could just fly over there anytime I want. <laughs> Hearing that story, I felt even more appreciative of the ticket that Shion had procured for me. I just thought I was lucky to be able to eat dessert for free, but it turned out that that ticket was much more valuable. It's, it's, like, the, it's like the Willy Wonka golden tickets. <laughs> the number of things I had to thank Shion for had increased yet again. I whispered in a voice only Mion could hear. That was how I conveyed my feelings. Mion looked at me for a moment before she tilted her head to the side and smiled confusedly. It would be a problem if you said something to me right now. That smile seemed to be telling me as much. I guess Mion wouldn't be accepting any gratitude while she was Mion. I'll go to the restaurant. Today I'll thank Mion while she's Shion. Coincidentally, Mion has to do something totally unrelated today. Mion waved her hand energetically as she left. Yeah, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, cuz I got a golden ticket. <laughs> Oh wait, I, I skipped past too much of that. Rena was pretty sharp when it came to these types of things. To me, Miona always seemed the same as always, but Rena apparently felt something different. Mm. Rena's skirt fluttered as she spun around with a coy smile. I was obviously weaseling my way out of the question, but I wasn't lying. 
Honestly, I didn't really know what was going on. Why did Shion, a persona of Mion that she'd created, appear before me? Something was blatantly up, but Rena paid it no heed. <laughs> Saying that, she spread her arms wide and spun around happily. I don't know why, but Rena was in a really good mood. Maybe she also got a golden ticket. <laughs> it was so infectious that I had to smile too. Even the chirping of the cicadas seemed joyful. That's impossible. <laughs> when I hear the, the kiss, cicadas do not sound nice. It's just beep, 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 beep. <laughs> but you see, Rena abruptly stopped spinning. Her expression had returned to a more somber one. <laughs> Oh? Did she break her leg? Wait, that's impossible. She was walking. Uh, did she break her funny bone? Because that real hurts. The pain that Rena was talking about probably wasn't physical. Are you sure? Maybe maybe she just has a kinker sore. Man, nobody knows tr what true pain is until they've had a kinker sore. Let me tell you what. That's sarcasm, folks. けがと同じ。だんだん腫れてきた。人参腫れてきた。とうとう痛みがこらえられなくなって、夜中に目を覚ました。そしてレナに電話してきたの。みーちゃんは泣いてた。Oh no. ごめん。それ何の話だよ。今レナは知らない、知らない、知らない。She's that's what you get for spinning around while running. That's what you get. I'll lend the dits a shoulder to lean on. <laughs> to be stumbling around like a newborn foal at this age is actually quite a feat. Rena, in a good mood, only babbled incoherently after that. I laughed as I responded to and chided her. However, the chance to revisit that heavy topic Rena had brought up before never arrived. Come on, off to eat dessert! <laughs> That's what we really want. As soon as I got home, I tossed aside my school bag and changed in a hurry. The effects of only having a light lunch were starting to show as my stomach began to let out fickle growls. All right, let's go to Angelmore. It's time to face the land of endless desert. Preparations for battle are complete. Tally-ho, <laughs> tally-ho, lads. Dane, instantly. Angelmore had a decidedly different feel to it compared to yesterday. Dessert Festa today, admittance by reservation only. Nonetheless, the front of the store was being swarmed by over a dozen young men. Judging by how they were looking upwards in jealousy instead of entering the store, they weren't invitees. Why would they gather here if they knew they couldn't get in? I found out the answer when I passed through the crowd and began to climb up the steps to enter the restaurant. As soon as I said that, I was immediately mobbed. It was like being in the middle of a football scrum on a crowded train. What is going on? The reason was this. It wasn't just one ticket per person. One ticket could let up to four people inside. Oh man! <laughs> With an uplifting smile, I turned and ignored them. When I did, their arms all reached out at once, like the souls of the damned seeking succor. <laughs> I am not letting someone named Otaku, who I am not friends with, into the, like, the Hooters with me. <laughs> what selfish people. This is the only reason they were crowded in front of the restaurant. 
dozens of wretched arms so <laughs> reached out for me like the teeth of a giant rake and grasped at the air. I thought they were going to be like, sell us your ticket, or else. I was already climbing the stairs to the entrance. <laughs> yeah, the nerve of me not inviting a man named Otaku that I didn't know. <laughs> this isn't something to joke about! I flew up the rest of the stairs and threw myself into the restaurant. It was like I had entered a different world. PREPARE TO BE AMAZED! <laughs> the miserable frown of the damned hurled curses at me from the other side of the glass door. But inside of this completely soundproofed and air-conditioned restaurant, with the angelic smile of a waitress to welcome me, they were nothing more than the refreshing piece of scenery. Do you have your ticket? I forgot it. <laughs> I knew that I shouldn't laugh, but I began to let out a sinister cackle. Good afternoon! <laughs> ようこそ本日はデザートフェスタにつきチケットのお客様のみの貸し切りになっておりますチケットと5方面をお伺いしてもよろしいでしょうかえっとチケットはないけど名簿に名前があると思いますマエバラですマエバラマエバラあったいつ
How did Otaku get here? I guess he's. I guess he was. A, found a way to uh, <laughs> mooch off of someone else's ticket. Man, is everybody named Otaku? Oh no. Wait, Bro, you are disgusting. Of course they are, because money is all that matters. This is very uncomfortable. When I said I wanted horror. I didn't want this. I I know it. I know it's not a name. I know it's not. That's 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 the joke, Proxima. <laughs> I, it started as a joke and it got less funny the more people named Otaku came in. Yeah. しかし、大人買いするには種類が多すぎるのでごわすな。普通のファミレス制服のフィギュアなら10種類程度でごわすのに。今度のはシークレットポーズ差分込みで。I I just am willing to bet. That there's official Higarashi merchandise uh, figurines of the girls in the Angel Morn uniforms. <laughs> the scalpers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta expect that. When Willy Wonka sends out five golden tickets for four people, you pay what you got to. The words spilling out of their mouths were pretty much all incomprehensible jargon. But they still keenly conveyed that hidden behind them was an invisible aura of abnormality. Man, we should have invited all the other... We're friends with four other girls, and one of them works here. We could have had the whole group come. That would have been nice. <laughs> they ruined Picasso Pikachu now this. <laughs> what the heck is Picasso Pikachu? <laughs> Some kind of Pokemon variant. <laughs> I'm not eating something with the word affair in it. On principle. I'm about to explode. Yeah, I believe it. They're probably happy to see just a normal guy, well, normal in double quotes, who's like not. Keiji at this point is not creeping on the waitresses. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm here for those. I, he's here for the desserts. He's a man of culture. The waitress informed me quietly with a wry smile. Yep. I knew it! There were people from South Africa that I just randomly entered it. <laughs> oh, oh, this is how we're gonna repay. This is how we're gonna repay Shion. They're probably gonna... Shion's gonna get into some, like, situation with the otakus, and we're gonna be like, Hey! This is where Kermit to the rescue. Because they're, they're, they're prefacing it with all this, so this is clearly leading somewhere. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying. Scalpers can be the worst. What did she mean by keep your guard up? At that moment, a large crash resounded through the room. I turned around startled to see that a waitress had fallen down and spilled the order she was carrying right onto a customer. Oh, that sucks. Wait, is that Shion? Oh, I knew it! This is how it starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to get super upset and we're going to step in and be like, hey, bro. そのその。なんてことするにゃり。いやいや、ですマカスプレイ。ジーンズ専門店で、ピピもしたズボンが生クリームでベトベトにゃりよ。オッケー。You yeah, these guys are going to be creepy! <laughs> well, they already were. The conversation suddenly veered off in an odd direction. <laughs> hey, hey, what did he say? <laughs> wipey, wipey! Did he want Shion to wipe him down? <laughs> right over that obviously aberrant tent he had pitched over his crotch? Oh, brother. 
そのわっふきふきふきふきふきふき If I ever end up like this, kill me. The wipey wipey chant quickly spread throughout the room. What? Oh, it's this kind of crowd. Totally concerned, Shion went pale. She looked out over with to a more experienced waitress for help, but was only met with a head shaking out of pity. Uh oh. Oh, she didn't trip on her own. She was tripped. Oh, uh uh. Oh, please turn into a Street Fighter style game. Oh, that would be so great. Oh. This is like a thing they do? Oh! We're going down. They've been here enough that they're like, I don't recognize that waitress. We'll trip her. So she'll fall for it. These guys are the worst. We're in the service industry, so there's not much we can do about it. I get it if you're the waitresses, but you're the manager. No way. You can do what you want. If you want to kick out these four otakus, I know four other otakus who would happily take their place. She laughed as she said that in a resigned tone. Shion trembled uncontrollably with a dishcloth in her hands as she turned bright red. The man who had been doused in frosting sprayed out on the bench, uh, or splayed out on the bench, putting the cream covered tent over his crotch on full display. Bruh. Still mentally unprepared, her trembling hand inched forward, goaded on by onlookers. <laughs> Bruh, you are the worst. From my male point of view, it might have been a ridiculous spectacle I could just smile wryly at, but from a woman's point of view, this was obviously pure humiliation. When I was trapped by those thugs and had been paralyzed with fear, Shion fearlessly stood up to me and saved me. I knew it! I knew we were going to repay the favor now! Still, as humiliating as it was, Shion was also partly to blame for this. And it wasn't as though her life was at stake, right? We were to blame for bothering the bikers' thugs, so... Even these guys, they were just going to jeer at her in a bit of lewd situation. It's not like they were going to eat Shion alive or anything. You still stand up! It'd be alright if I just consoled her afterwards, right? When I, a man, was being assailed by three thugs while paralyzed with fear, Shion saved me without a second thought. What about now? These sleazy, filthy degenerates were trying to pin the blame on Shion. This time, our roles were reversed. Hey, Keiji Maibara. If you don't save her now, when will you ever be able to repay the debt you owe her? You scared, Keiji Maibara? At that time, Shion, no, Mion, didn't even show a hint of hesitation. Then what about now? I'm not hesitating. Then what? If you're not hesitating, then why aren't you helping her? That was the least intimidating laugh ever. I grasped Shion's shoulder firmly and pulled her behind me. Oh, how dare she! Oh! It is turning into Street Fighter! <laughs> my body was lifted into the air like nothing. I was thrown right back into my own seat. Oh no! Otaku got a hit on us! This guy is strong! <laughs> No matter how you look at it, Athletic and this Lardo aren't even in the same area code! <laughs> oh darn it! I forgot about that! The man smirked, showing off his gum line. Damn it! How lame must I look right now? If someone intentionally trips you, it's actually not your fault. Uh, 
これくらいでへこたれるケイチ様だと思うなよもう一度だ This is humiliating. Wax snap funk! Oh, oh, oh. まま Rise my will to fight! Not just running, I planted every last one of my steps firmly as I closed the distance to the lard ball. Each time I ripped my foot off the floor, I could feel my burning spirit flare up from the point of impact. Everything slowed down like I was walking underwater. As I stepped forward in that vicious flow of time, I calmly measured the gap between us. With our difference in height, reach was my ultimate advantage. There was an ever so tiny distance between us where only my punch would be able to reach. I unleashed my iron fist of righteous anger, but it flew towards his face slowly like I was punching underwater. Reacting to that with a smirk on his face, the fatso easily slipped inside of my punch. I hadn't realized it until now, but in this mired time, I was able to observe his baffling counterattack with almost painful clarity. <laughs> his arm slowly swung around in a large windmill motion. Hey, Marty! Oh, yeah! Uh, so, we're basically at Hooters eating all you can eat desserts, and there's a bunch of guys named Otaku here, and、uh, we're getting our butt kicked by one of them because、uh, they intentionally tripped our kind of girlfriend waitress, and we're, yeah, it, that, you're, you're caught up now. <laughs> He wrapped around my whiffed punch and he descended into an arc. There is no way Fat Otaku is this good at fighting. That arm swung around like the arms of a clock and came into contact with my head, twisting my upper body around. Dragging my head along, he followed through with another rotation. This time, he rotated his entire body like a top, followed by another rotation. Combining offense and defense. It was a brilliant counter. That's right. Three times I was thrown after three rotations, I think. In this vicious region of time, I was unable to struggle, and I could only wait dumbstruck until the moment was I was thrown. The moment I was, that sluggish temporal anomaly abruptly ended. Crash! I cannot believe we're getting our butt kicked by an otaku. I mean, come on, we can beat a taco! <laughs> I was loath to admit it, but against somebody trained in martial arts, I couldn't win through force of will alone. How about you dump a glass of water on him? After my consciousness faded in a wave of dizziness, when I came to, I was lying down in my own seat. No! We didn't even get one punch on this guy, and he knocked us unconscious! This is embarrassing! I am embarrassed for Keiji. Maybe because the guy beat us up, they kicked him out, though, like they had an excuse. That's still pathetic, but a little less so. The more experienced waitress from before wiped my the sweat from my brow with a towel. While she was doing that, a red faced and teary eyed Shion trudged over. No! I got beaten up by an otaku. No, I'm not okay. I guess, you know, that is fair. I didn't think of that. I assumed this guy was Keiji's age, but no, you're right. He's probably like 20. He's probably my age. That makes a little more sense, but. Still.Okay.Kate, I know, Marty. I'm waiting for Chapter 2 to get creepy. But it hasn't happened. Instead, we've just k e e p going to Hooters with the slutty outfit waitresses. The creepy is. Maybe more. Well, I hope Chapter 2 is creepy. As she said that, she stuck out her tongue teasingly. Oh no, that's a dumb move. She wiped off the whipped cream with the washcloth she was holding in her hands. Wait, I didn't eat all my. I didn't eat the brownie earthquake yet. She couldn't even put up a brave front. I would never even think for a second that Mion could be that weak. This was Shion, and she had been harassed by some unreasonable riffraff. It, that was reality. 
I really don't think that's the case, Marty. I really don't think that. I think every chapter is supposed to be creepy on some level. It the, the creepy took a while to creep in, pun intended, in chapter one. I just thought it would creep in a little quicker in chapter two now that we kind of know that it's going to be a scary game. We also got to figure out who's going to get the reptile eyes. After some consoling words and a sympathetic smile to Shion, the other waitress started heading back to work. That's where I stopped her. Excuse me, waitress. No, your phone. <laughs> I pulled a 10 yen coin from my wallet. This wasn't about saving face. But being a worthless coward was an unchangeable fact, but I could just cry myself to sleep about that later tonight. Now was not the time for tears. I had to fight. <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Officer Uisi. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> I turned around and glared at the greasy hooligan who subjected Shion to that humiliation. Are we calling in our school friends? Are we calling in our fellow women to beat up this guy? There are three things that aren't working in your favor today, punk. The first is that I owe Shion. The second is that I am a man who is not afraid to throw away his pride to win. And the third is... That we're the most powerful club members in history! We are calling the club members. <laughs> oh, I'm a little worried bringing Rika over here. And Rika can hold her own. I'll have the best and most powerful club members join the fray. They could bring down a thousand foes! You fat asses! Prepare to meet your maker!